I'm Magda from the Village Group Company. Um, we specialize in React Native, and when we don't work for our clients, we build some useful open source libraries to make your life easier. And today we will focus on how to enhance our communication with emojis. We're gonna go through why to choose emoji, what impact they actually have, what emoji is, uh, we'll dive into some technical details and a little bit of theory about how it works under the hood and how to bring emojis into your React Native apps. Okay, so let's dive right into it. Um, emojis have the ability to pick up where actual words are falling slightly short. They empower our feelings, our words, more than 90% of the users use emojis on a daily basis. Every year, new and more relatable emojis are introduced in order to meet the rising demand and basically keep up with all the changes. Nowadays, we are so reliant on our mobile phones that we reach for them constantly without even realizing. And let's stop for a little longer here. Um, let me ask you a question. What did your phone do for you today? Did it send you a notification that your latest YouTube video got 100 more thumbs up? Um, did it let you know that your message on Slack got a fire reaction? Maybe someone liked your Instagram picture of your yesterday's dinner? Or your fr best friend sent you a middle finger just because? Well, emojis are everywhere. They are an integral part of our lives, whether we like it or not. When speaking, people convey the information with eye gaze, tone of voice, facial expression, in general, the whole body language, something that is obviously missing while we're texting. Let's have a look at this conversation between two partners, a couple. Pretty standard, but there's something missing. Do you feel any emotional connection between these two people? Well, looks a little bit like good grounds for a divorce. And how about now? Completely different vibe, right? So you can see how adding just a few emojis changes the feel of the whole conversation. And I'm sure you've experienced that as well. Let's move to another example. I just fell down the stairs. If I received that kind of text with no context whatsoever, my response probably would be something like, oh my God, do you need help? Um, okay, but let's see how adding emojis changes that context. Laughing? Well, apparently my friend is just really clumsy. Um, so I would say, happens to me all the time, just please be careful next time. Um, but what if we provide some more specific context? An ambulance emoji. So my answer would probably be, which hospital are they taking you to? I'll be right there. You see where I'm going with this, right? Um, emojis break the language barrier because they are universal. They are widely recognizable regardless of the language you speak. I will go one step further and say that it is possible to have a full conversation without the need of using too many words, just emoji itself. So one person didn't use words at all, and we still have a fully understandable conversation. So emojis started gaining popularity on such a massive scale as it is right now, around 10 years ago. Obviously, they were with us a little earlier, but they were quickly recognized as a phenomenon and as a proof of that. A while later, Oxford Dictionary announced that the word of the year 2015 is not a word, it is emoji. The tears of joy emoji. So tears of joy emoji is still very popular. In fact, it is the most used emoji of 2021. 5% uh, of the total emojis used, so quite big. But what is emoji? So from the technical point of view, it is a sign defined by the Unicode standard. A picture represented by uncoded character. It does not really differ too much from any other alphabet letter that you can see on the screen, like shown uh, A, letters A, code point is U0041, letter B42, and so on, the whole alphabet. And the rocket emoji, for example, would be 1F680, so the same format. 
Let's also quickly go through what the Unicode is. Um, it is an information technology standard for the consistent coding, and it is maintained by the Unicode Consortium. Pro basically provides a unique number, code point, for every character. That is the goal. So does it mean that emoji is a font? Well, yes. If this is a font, does it mean that we can change its style depending on the font family we use? Yes. The answer is also yes. It works exactly like that, and this is why some of the emojis look slightly different depending on the platform or app where they are displayed. So if an app does not include a font that supports displaying that emoji, it will automatically fall back to what the manufacturer of your phone has provided. It's as simple as that. And for example, the font that Apple uses for emojis is called Apple Color Emoji, Android Not a Color Emoji, and so on. Each of these uh, take control over how emojis are displayed. And they actually can make some modifications to any of them if they want to. So you can see an example of fries, how it looks depending on the environment where they are displayed. Okay, let's talk flags. As I mentioned before, every emoji should have its dedicated con point. But no, this is not the case for flags. Uh, they are so-called flag sequences, uh, combining regional indicator symbols, for example, PL, GB, and so on. Each of these regional indicator symbols combined together create a country flag. Do you think that we can do some JavaScript magic on emojis? Uh, let's see what happens when we, do, uh, when we add two regional indicator symbols together. And we end up having a British flag. Would any other JavaScript method work on flag? Yeah, we can also try reversing. And after reversing the Bulgarian flag, which is the combination of B and G, uh, we, we end up having also British flag. Surrogate pairs. Most JavaScript engines use UTF-16 encoding by default. Characters like emoji have a very high code point, so they cannot be stored uh, in 16 bits. They require 21 bits to save the information. So the UTF-16 says, hey, you need two code units of 16 bits. So the code point 1F600, like that one on top, is split into a so-called surrogate pair, a uh, high surrogate code unit on the left and the low surrogate code unit, that one on the right. And to prove that, we can simply call length on emoji, which is going to result in two. Skin tone modifiers. Unicode has approved skin tone modifiers from Unicode 8.0, which was released in 2015. Uh, it can be applied to a range of human-like emojis, and these six colors that you can see on the screen is the Fitzpatrick scale, which represents human skin phototype. However, Unicode has introduced its own version of this scale, which includes five skin tones. And skin tone modifiers are not like other emojis. They do not exist separately. You cannot choose them from any keyboard. However, combined with emoji that supports skin tone modifiers will result in that original emoji changing color, like so. And here's a woman, we pasted skin tone modifier and we have emoji that represents women with a darker skin tone. So please notice that the skin tone modifier is visible here as just a square, so it kind of broke when I tried to paste it into the code editor. This actually proves that this is not a standalone emoji and it shouldn't be used as such. So coming back to the test we did before, what would happen if we check the length of the emoji that includes skin tone modifier? Well, yeah, we're gonna get four two per each element, emoji itself, and the skin tone modifier. Zero with joiner. Um, it's a Unicode character that basically joins two or more other characters together in a sequence to create a new emoji. It is also not an emoji itself, and it has no appearance. It is invisible. So when I'll be showing you an example, some examples in a second, you'll have to believe me that I actually pasted something in between two emojis. Um, let's see that in action. Uh, woman plus zero with joiner plus laptop is gonna give us woman technologies emoji. What a coincidence. No mouth emoji plus fog, face in the clouds. 
Uh, we can also use both at the same time, skin tone modifier and zero joiner to create even more customizable emojis. Uh, here, woman plus dark, darker skin tone plus red hair. Family. Combining men, woman, gay, girl and boy emojis give us a bunch of options to create family emojis. But does it really work with any kind of sequence? Well, not really. Unicode supports quite a lot of combinations already, uh, but not everything is available yet. And for example, can a family be mixed with a dog? Well, unfortunately, not yet. Maybe one day. Um, so as you already know, we can achieve lots of combinations joining together two random emojis, but there are some that feel a little bit like a missed opportunity. And combining two eyes will not give us an eyes emoji. Eyes emoji has its own code point. And same goes for lipstick mark, unicorn, zombie guy, or a vampire. Right. So let's move to the part where we discuss how to incorporate emojis into your apps. Um, feel free to scan the QR code if you want to find out uh, more. And I'll move to presenting an emoji keyboard, an open source library created and maintained by developers from the Village Group. Uh, special recognition to the originator, Jacob, who makes sure that all the best features land regularly in the releases. Okay, but you may wonder why did we decide to build an emoji picker library? There must have been something on the market already. Well, yes, of course there was. We were in the process of building our company's demo app, Holly Daily, um, and yeah, we did our research. We tried to incorporate some of the existing solutions into the app. Um, and the main feature that we needed that library for in the first place was allowing users to tag posts with any emoji they wanted. Not just a heart or a thumbs up emoji. I mean, call us greedy, but we wanted it all. And our go-to library was React Native Emoji Selector. We gave it a go, but it wasn't something that we expected or looked for. Um, we needed something more. We needed more customization, more control, better performance. So we eventually decided to release the emoji keyboard and then Emoji Selector has become our benchmark. So RN Emoji Keyboard gives you an option for a keyboard to be used as a static element, which is an integrated part of the UI, like you can see on the, on the screen. Um, please notice that I am using a named import here, and the only required prop in this mode is on Emoji Selected, which obviously handles, it handles Emoji Selection, or um, we can use the modal mode where the keyboard pops up when opened and here using the default import from the library and we just passed three required props. You can also grab that top part, the knob, uh, and drag it to the, to the very top in order to expand the whole keyboard and give it almost, well, well actually, even full screen. Um, we added multiple features for the keyboard that you can control by just simply passing some props. Um, for example, change emo emoji si size. Here's very small, or you can also go very big. Um, display a recently used section or hide it. Uh, displays that categories list on top, at the bottom, of heavy floating, which is actually the default setting. Uh, you can customize colors here, the custom theme for an active category icon. Um, you can have a search bar. You can style that search bar, passing props theme. Um, or go crazy with some more styling, more custom styling. You can hide that search bar if you don't want it. You can hide the header as well and have very clear layout. Uh, you can disable categories, so you can only see your selected ones. Um, or you can even change the order of this category if, if you wish to. And something that our keyboard has been missing for a while now, but here it is. Uh, we added it with the latest releases, release that happened just recently, well, actually yesterday. Um, skin tone modifier support provided to you by default with no additional setup. 
Um, and to wrap up with the library showcase, I gathered some points for us to go through. Uh, let's start with easy setup. You don't need any provider, nothing. It just works by default. Um, it is user and developer friendly. Uh, fully type, uh, so feel free to take advantage of the autocomplete. Uh, internationalization, we already support a bunch of the languages, but if you don't see your language on that list, I highly encourage you to contribute to the library with your own translations. Um, skin tone modifier support. Um, it is written as a React Native component, so no linking needed, and something that we're also very proud of, zero dependency. So like I mentioned before, emoji selector was our benchmark. Um, we ran some performance tests on it beforehand, and that gave us the rough idea of what we're gonna go, like what we're gonna be dealing with, where we could expect some challenges and what those challenges could be. Um, let me show you what RN Perf Monitor plugin for Flipper showed us. Uh, so the library struggled a little bit with the initial render on such a long list. Um, I mean, obviously, there are a lot of emojis here to be rendered. Um, we can also see a big drop on the category change uh, or even the selection of the emoji itself. And RN uh, React Native uh, Emoji Selector scored 49. So here is how our emoji keyboard looked like in the first release. This is the first ever version that ended up in an NPM. Um, very similar to the other one, I'm afraid. We fell into the similar traps, but obviously um, we do not, did not stop on that. Our first score was 46. And soon after that, we released the version of 071, which was the longest stable version of the library. Um, we've put some effort into optimizing the library. Um, you could, by doing some caching and everything, like you can see that the drop of the performance is not so spectacular as the previous version. And we ended up with the score of 72. But like I mentioned, we recently released the new version of the library. Lots of breaking changes in that one. Uh, here, the team has put a lot of effort in order to achieve our best score so far. Uh, with all the recent improvements, we were able to significantly reduce the drop uh, in the G JS FPS, um, especially on the category change. I think you can see that it's pretty stable, and the UI FPS looks like a straight line and we end up having this final score, 90. Yeah, but obviously our ultimate goal is yet to be achieved, uh, and that's what we're aiming for. Okay, so I hope you can all agree with me right now that I can allow myself to add to that list one more point. An emoji keyboard is performant. Uh, feel free to check out the documentation for this library to find out more. And to sum up, if there was one thing that I would like you to remember from my talk today, it would be allow your users to fully express themselves by giving them the right to tools. Because people are used to emojis. Do it like we did it. Give them the possibility to tag with any emoji, not just a heart. Use the RN emoji keyboard. Use other libraries and stuff that our team is building for you. Uh, you might be familiar with React Native Notificated, uh, the only in-app notification library that you will ever need, uh, which had its grand premiere at AppJS just a few months ago. Um, check out our demo app, Holly Daily, and have a look at the in-depth articles about React Native and animations in Reanimated. That's it for me today. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>